So today I wanted to share with you a few days in my life and today it started with breakfast with my friend and then we headed out to the library to study because we were still preparing our exams and yeah she was late as usual. to meet Arya we're gonna have a quick lunch I mean they're going to have lunch <laughs> we were supposed to go to the library at 1 p.m. but you know plans have changed so we're going to have lunch and then we'll go to the library do you, have a study? you like only go out <laughs> guys I do actually study but I vlog when I don't study of course and so we're gonna have Japanese and sushi and then we'll go to the library one of like the most beautiful libraries here in Venice to study in, where you can study in. And I'm going there for the first time. She's already been, and I'm so excited. Cause I actually studied. Cause she studied. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so now we're going to meet Aria. I'll see you later. And we're in San Marco. Sure. <laughs> see you guys. Bye. 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 study in this gorgeous library called Fondazione Querini Stampalia which is situated in Campo Santa Maria Formosa and their architecture and the frescoes and the vibes in general are sublime so if you want to study somewhere pretty I definitely recommend I'm taking my time thinking Hey guys, we're just <laughs> finished studying and now we're going to another bar Cara says she wants to study again because she's a good girl Let's go study and then we can go out We're going to study and she wants me to go out again Well, I'm going so out So it's not my I'm fault <laughs> I'm going out regardless, come on don't come We were done with our daily dose of studying. We heard there was going to be a mini live performance in Campo San Tomas. We went there and had a look. It was a really entertaining and joyful performance, which we really enjoyed. And we ended up having lots and lots of fun. Right. 
like you give me fever. Ooh. When you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight. Fever in the morning, fever all through the night. Oh, oh I dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Good morning guys, so I'm with Kara, she went to check out this church, but I can't because I have my coffee here. We went to have breakfast and I am having my second cappuccino because I was so tired this morning and I couldn't oh, even speak. Coffee. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and now we're going to the library. I don't remember the way well, yeah, We're going to the library and tonight we go somewhere else to celebrate the fact that she's finally leaving because I couldn't wait for her to leave. Yeah, so we're going to a club and I can't wait. <laughs> actually here for work oh my god they can't see <laughs> we're actually here for work and but we think it's a cool place so you should check it out as well it's not because we are promoting it we're not <laughs> but you should come yeah it's cute <laughs> so 
So from here you can see San Marco. <laughs> and so if you have the chance, come and check it out because it's very cute. It's nothing like major, but it's a nice way to like see Venice from a different point of view. So yeah. <laughs> After work I went back to the library and then met my friend to have a few drinks and to eat something and later in the evening we decided to go to a karaoke bar where the subscribers we had met also joined us and we had lots of fun. On this day, we went to the library as usual, had our usual lunch break as well and in the evening, the weather was really nice because it was cloudy and the temperature cooled down a little bit so we decided to go for a walk and enjoy a live performance in Piazza San Marco. together to the Don Vecchi store which is like on in Master on the mainland because she needs to do some thrift shopping also on Saturday we're going on a boat party so we need to find like cute outfits to go uh, to wear on the boat party so yeah this is what we're doing this afternoon and I will be waiting for her at Piazzale Roma which is like the bus station of Venice and from there we will take a bus and go to Mestre. Guys, the weather is not promising at all. It looks like it's about to rain. I hope it doesn't rain because I did not bring my umbrella. It was raining five minutes ago, like pouring. Was pouring. And now look, it's so sunny, so I'm so happy. Because time it is like this. Yeah, it always rains for like 20 minutes, but very, very hard. Like real like rain, and now like it's sunny. And it's a good thing because we didn't bring like any umbrella. Oh, no. And he also I'm that. wearing I'm wearing like slippers. We so. knew that it was going to rain and we didn't bring an umbrella. Yeah, we knew it, but we didn't. Which is like makes us even more like, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> What's this? Honey, I like moving out of state, I went out of my mind. 
Took a few nights and blew all my money without even trying You said if all those dreams okay, didn't want to leave As like, much as you like, want to go So I can face my fear Knowing you'll never care if I'm alone So this morning I had to wake up very early um, because I had to do some work. I, I had to go to the Alto to meet a few partners, a few collaborators for uh, the work that I'm doing for my uni. And now I am going home, I'm going to have lunch and then I'm going to meet with um, my friend Ariza. We're going um, thrift shopping again. Move to a city where they don't know LA. And I needed a change of pace I believed in your hopes You needed the most Held back my own Cause I always came second So why would you think That I left you alone? I'm on my way to meet Ariza I'm going to the Vaporetto station then we're going to go together to look for um, second-hand clothing. Uh, we're going to visit some charity shops here in Venice and hopefully we'll find something to wear at the boat party. But no pressure because we will definitely find something. As I told you before, we were planning to go thrift shopping, but the store we initially planned to go to was closed. So we found out there was another exhibition near the place and we checked it out and it was so cute. I loved every single bit of this exhibition. And yeah, so this is what we usually do when we don't know what to do in Venice, especially during summer because the Biennale is a huge thing here and there are like exhibitions everywhere so guys we just got to the place uh, the first one we went to was closed but this is opened and this is just the outside part inside it has like two floors so we were searching for things um ariza is already started <laughs> yeah i'm so happy that it's open we're on our way to the other charity shop and since it's too hot we decided to get some ice cream and we got both pistachio and it looks so good. I haven't tried it yet. But do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So guys, 
guys this is it for today's vlog i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and click on the notification bell to be updated so you don't miss a single video that i post and stay tuned for the upcoming vlogs because they're going to give you a 360 degrees view of what the party life in venice is and now enjoy a few clips of my friends making fun of me see you soon hey guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it's me bella again <laughs> asking me about what it's like living in Venice so I'm gonna tell you a bit about it so how much do you spend <laughs> how much do you spend in the library well, well I don't really because <laughs> I'm drinking Aperol every day with my friends because I have so much hey guys <laughs> today we're back in the library because I'm super studious what do I study I study Chinese it's super fun here they also offer you an ESN discount code if you come with Erasmus <laughs> 